Hey, Ryan. We're the break. I watched Private Parts for the first time. been a longtime fan, and I was surprised that Gary wasn't in the movie more than he was. Well, don't forget, Gary <clears throat> didn't come into the show until NBC. And even not at the beginning of NBC. Right. You think Private Parts should have had more Gary, Robin? <laughs> The sequel should have had more. Care. By the way, Ryan, if you want to know Gary's story, buy his book. Uh, and also you'll get... Oh, yeah, we bought it. Yeah, and you'll get his list of favorite Desert Island albums. Oh, here they are. So these are 10 records that if I had to go to a desert island, I could only bring... How do we get them on a desert island? Come with me. What would I bring? Well, no... Somebody cares. <laughs> Fucking Gary's book. No surprises here. You know I'm a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. Oh, no surprises here. You know... Who knows you're a Bruce Springsteen? Get the fuck out of here, Gary, with your book. I think he was talking to Mary when he yeah. put this together. Uh, Mary, uh, no surprises. No surprise. Like, like everyone's hanging. Oh, he thinks he's a superstar. Do you think in a book I would ever write, no surprises here, I'm a Bruce Springsteen fan? I mean, I wouldn't even assume the audience knew my favorite music. Oh, his book is so annoying. <laughs> Fucking book. I would definitely bring Born to Run. It's my favorite of all his records, and it was just a time and place in my life where I could just go from no surprises. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It was a time in his play and a place in his life when he could do what? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> so I would definitely bring Born to Run. It's my favorite of all his records, and it was just a time and place in my life where I could just go from the beginning to the end and love every song on it. it That's time... ridiculous. Well, it doesn't make any sense. That's what I'm saying. I knew it was. It's a time in his life when he and a could, place and a place. And a place. Don't what forget the a place. Fu- who the fuck proofread this thing for him? <laughs> Holy mackerel! A time and a place in my life well, that I could listen to every song. And I had to. I couldn't take the needle <laughs> off. I was paralyzed in the chair. Gary, didn't a guy write the book for you? I mean, I mean, there was somebody no, no, helping I mean, you. I, listen, this part I'm reading uh, uh, spontaneously. Howard, I'm not reading. Direct, uh, there's a list and then I'll comment. Yeah, but it's from a, an actual written document, right? Yeah. Well, what does that have to do with the time you li- Like, what was going on in your life that you could go yeah. from beginning to end? Honestly. I have no idea what you're talking Seriously? about. Seriously? I, I don't know. Listen, I, who remembers? I you said it. Answer, but I don't have yeah, one. Yeah, but what does it mean? I was thinking that it, it was a time and place in my life where this record really had an impact on me. It's probably what I should have said. But you didn't tell us what, the, what was going on. It's a list, Robin, not a fucking podcast. Uh-huh. Right. Gary. Gary, honestly, I'd rather listen to John Hines' top 10 fast food straws <laughs> list. Asia by Steely Dan. I really love that band, and I really love that record. And I saw them recently in New York where they played Asia Live, and the record still holds up. That record still holds up? You saw them live. That record came out. It was different than anything I'd heard before. And I go- you know, they did a study. Anyone who purchased this book has been committed to a mental institution. <laughs> go back and listen to it a lot. It still holds up. Hotel California, the Eagles. I know I'm pulling out hit records here, but what could I say? Er- On what planet does anyone care what his top albums are? It's an opinion, not a fact. Right. I know I'm pulling out a lot of hits here, but what can I say? Every song on Hotel California is amazing. I just got a remastered version of it, and uh, it still holds up. Everything holds up. Everything holds up. (laughs) Uh, The only thing I got to say is this record holds up. And now another record holds up. <laughs> Thriller, Michael Jackson. I can what? Does it hold up though? It holds up. It holds up. Oh, I guarantee it holds up. <laughs> when I was working at the record store, it was just a pivotal time in my oh, life, and every song on the record is- it was a pivotal. Uh, again, we had a time in his life. Why was the record store the pivotal time? Would you stop smelling your finger? <laughs> would, uh, would you? <laughs> What, did you have sex last night? Oh, uh, yeah. Mary. <laughs> mm, Fifi. This would make that so much more intolerable. How is making fun of me, but I'll just smell my fingers. Uh. <laughs> no, what What was, seriously. This what, is pivotal. Probably, I worked at the record store when the album was a hit. Yeah, but there was a pivotal time in your life. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I said that. I was working at the record store, and it was a pivotal time in my life. But he never explained. I was putting records in the cutout bin. And... <laughs> I feel I'm at a pivotal point in my life. I love when Gary says it's a pivotal po- time in his life, so he bought Michael Jackson. A time and a place, and pivotal. And to listen to every song. And everything holds up. 